Yo you guys, welcome back to another video, this is Michigan Sports Talk here, and before we get into this one, if you guys are new around here, I'd really appreciate it, if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and uh, other than that guys, we're going to be talking about Michigan basketball a little bit here, and Eli Brooks um, coming back to Michigan, also Chani Brown, Isaiah Livers, Franz Wagner, checking out everybody and what they are going to be doing, it's all going to be in today's video, so stay tuned and let's get right into today's video. Alright, so we're going to start by talking about Eli Brooks coming back to Michigan. He, he, you know, posted it that he is coming back. And a uh, very, very good um, roster position here for the Michigan Wolverines and a huge piece to this team. And I'm so glad that he is going to be coming back. But, you know, I mean, simply put, a captain is back. Uh, when mi men Michigan's men's basketball on Twitter, that's what they put as well. And it's going to be really cool to have him back. One of the best three-point shooters on our team and really just showed up, you know, whenever he could and really, really uh, helped out the team a lot here for Michigan. So I can't wait to see him for another year for his fifth year. It is going to be his fifth year. He's already been here four years and he's going to be taking advantage of that COVID NCAA one uh, year time, whatever the thing is. Uh, he's going to be coming back to Michigan for another year for his fifth year here. And yeah, I mean, it's just awesome to have him back. Great three-point shooter. Can do, really do it all. He's a great ball handler. And uh, he's been starting for quite a while, so it's great to have a senior captain back on the team. Very, very cool to have that experience and, you know, somebody that is able to, you know, teach the younger kids that is coming in. I mean, you talk about the number one recruiting class coming in, you know, but they're going to be all freshmen. So you got to expect, you know, not a lot of experience from them. So huge uh, here for Eli Brooks and Michigan and Juwan Howard's team to have a captain back, you know, to give a little bit of experience to those younger people and those younger players on our team. So according to this article on MLive, you know, Michigan starting guard Eli Brooks is returning for a fifth season. And according to the Wolverines men's basketball program, Eli Brooks and coach Juwan Howard met up on Wednesday and decided to take advantage of the free year of eligibility the NCAA granted to all winter athletes because of COVID-19 pandemic. Now, a lot of players are taking advantage of this, but the more you look at it, uh, the more you realize that there are a lot of players in the transfer portal. And because of this, you know, the uh, NCAA doing this one year rule thing because of COVID-19, there are a lot of people that transferred out of their school and, you know, got their name in the transfer portal. So there's a lot more pe uh, players in the transfer portal now because of this. Uh, that's why it's so, you know, packed right now in the transfer portal. Alright, so another player is Chandy Brown. I thought Chandy Brown and Eli Brooks would both come back. I really wanted both of them because they could, you know, both show up and they're both ball players and they could both shoot the three really efficiently. Uh, you, look, you know, you look in the NCAA tournament, they really led this team and they really, you know, I uh, just, they, they really could pick it up on the offensive side for, you know, the Michigan Wolverines. So, when you have them back, it's very, very cool here for Juwan Howard and the Michigan Wolverines. But Chani Brown is not going to be coming back. Actually, he is going to enter his name into the uh, the NBA draft here coming up. And so is Mike Smith as well. Mike Smith, I already made a video on that. He is going to be going into the transfer, or not the transfer board. He's going to the NBA draft trying to get, you know, probably not going to get picked up. In the NBA draft, probably picked up after the draft and free agency uh, by a team. Same thing with probably Chani Brown. He Chani Brown actually has a better chance than Mike Smith to get drafted in the uh, NBA draft here coming up. But um, I really think that Chani Brown and Eli Brooks really were leaders on this team. Chani Brown obviously came off the bench and was huge in key games. I mean, you look at that. LSU game, he really showed up and he was really a, a leader and a sh uh, one of the best offensive players in that game. So, you know, losing Johnny Brown uh, obviously sucks, but Eli Brooks coming back is huge for Michigan. One of your best three-point shooters, so I'm just glad they got one out of those two people, and I'm just glad to have him back. 
So with Charlie Brown going out and Mike Smith, obviously we're all expecting Franz Wagner and Isaiah Livers to all leave. In fact, Isaiah Livers actually just tweeted out, thank, uh, thank you Michigan fans, I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Scratch that, he said, thank you Michigan, instead of that, I uh, put thank you Michigan on Twitter, tweeted that out, and um, that just came out about an hour ago, so he is probably going to be going, obviously he is not he is injured, but both him and Fr Franz Wagner are both projected to get drafted, in fact, Franz Wagner is projected to go to the n number 10 spot, uh, which is predicted to be the Sacramento Kings, apparently, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but you know, obviously, don't know who is gonna get the spots yet. But uh, that's really, you know, I I didn't know if Franz Wagner would get drafted. I don't know if I would take a chance if I was an NBA team. I guess you might as well if there is nobody else there. But Franz Wagner, you know, very inconsistent. I feel like here at Michigan, obviously a great player in some games, and we wouldn't have made it without him here. But you know, as an NBA team, uh, that inconsistency can definitely hurt you but he's a young player so he's got a lot of you know time to build uh time to uh, you know get better and everything but yeah so uh Franz Wagner is actually supposed to go higher than Isaiah Livers Isaiah Livers is supposed to go in the second round I'm pretty sure so that is that right now also one more player Austin Davis is also going to leave Michigan he is I'm pretty sure done with basketball he might you know go into the nba draft or try to get picked up after the draft i know for sure he probably won't get drafted but he is a very talented center he can definitely make it if he wants to and he puts in the work but austin davis is not going to take advantage of that one year which you know is perfectly fine because he's been here again four years i'm pretty sure uh you know so obviously you know he just wants to get on with his life um but yeah, so Austin Davis is going to leave Michigan here. He won't be taking advantage like Eli Brooks is of this year, which is perfectly fine. You know, like I said, just some people might just want to, you know, get on with their lives, continue their career elsewhere other than basketball. So, you know, that's just his decision and uh, just, you know, a great career here at Michigan. Great backup center for Michigan. He actually started before, um... After he got hurt, Hunter Dickinson started and he never stopped starting. So that's that. Uh, now let's go ahead and actually, never mind. I was going to talk about a little bit of the transfer portal here for Michigan, who they might pick up, but I kind of did already make a video on that. Pretty sure it was the Mike Smith video, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. I'll put the video here at the end of this video. That's going to pretty much wrap up today's video, guys. Just a little short video and an update on Michigan basketball and who is leaving, who is coming back. Eli Brooks is coming back. That is really the only person that is going to be coming back from this team out of all the people or out of all the seniors we had this year. So, you know, it's just great to have one leader, one captain on our team next year definitely will help us a lot and he's a very great ball player and a very great shooter so very cool to have him back and other than that guys hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please drop a like subscribe for more and i will you know probably going to be making more football videos because that is really the main thing that is coming up here but other than the news for michigan football probably going to be making you know maybe mlb videos i uh, NBA videos or college baseball for Michigan. They're doing really good. Other than that, guys, hope you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you guys in the next video.